And Eric, I think it's safe to say that all of us in the newsroom fell in love with B. The moment oh, yeah. that we saw her. And I guess she's kind of a silly sleeper. Like, she just kind of plunks forward and, like, rests on her head. <laughs> <laughs> I think I may oh, my gosh. Do the same. I she's don't know. An, yeah, <laughs> she's an absolute doll. Yeah, I tell you what. And hey, speaking of uh, being outdoors, take a look at the temperature outside. We're seeing in the 70s and 80s, we have sunny skies out there at the airport, 87 degrees to be exact. Our humidity is sitting at 41, dew points at 61, so it's tolerable, if you will. Uh, winds are out of the west at 18 miles per hour. That river level is sitting at 5.33 feet and it's going down. Hey, if you have any evening plans, here's a look at your uh, evening planner. 84 degrees will be the temperature by the 7 o'clock hour. We'll stay in the mid to upper 70s by the uh, evening hours. Then we go into the overnight hours. We'll see temperatures going into the mid 60s. Nothing to talk about for the most part on radar unless you're in Jackson or in Trempolo County. You see a nice little uh, thunderstorm pushing its way through. This is going to push its way off towards the east as we go into the next several hours. And once this is out of here, it's done for the evening. Matter of fact, we'll see clear skies for the evening and overnight hours. High pressure is going to regain control and it's going to stay in control as we go into the next uh, several days. Matter of fact, a big dome of high pressure is going to situate itself across the central portion of the U.S. and that's going to allow temperatures to really go up. We'll talk about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. So here's Sky Tracker for tonight. There you go. 10 o'clock. We'll see temperatures staying in the 60s and 70s. We'll see clear skies by 7 a.m. When you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 60s and 70s will greet you. We'll see abundant sunshine trying to start and then a stray shower too, not out of the question much like today much like yesterday not everybody will see it but the ones who do see it uh, will get a nice uh, little downpour if you will so here's a look at what I was talking about with this high pressure system look where it's at and look where it's going to situate itself across the central portion of the U.S. and when it does we'll see triple digit heat stretching from Tulsa down to Dallas Fort Worth now we're not going to get into that but we will see temperatures going into the upper 80s low 90s and you can see where that takes place we'll go to 86 Sunday, back into the low 90s Monday and Tuesday. So your first alert forecast for tonight, we'll go to 63 degrees, mostly clear skies, a mild evening out of the northwest. We'll see that wind out of the northwest, I should say, at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, going to 81 degrees for tomorrow. Straight afternoon shower, not out of the question, otherwise abundant sunshine. Winds are going to stay out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's the next eight days. We'll see temperatures going into the upper 70s, low 80s for Wednesday, 83 Thursday. We'll stay in the mid 80s throughout the weekend, keeping a precip chance in the forecast for Friday, Saturday, and going into Sunday. Now that thunderstorm chance Sunday is going to be in the evening and overnight hours. And then, Amy, we go back into the upper 80s, low 90s from Monday and Tuesday. Sounds like a typical July. Yes, yes, it does. All right, thank you, Eric. You bet.